The topic for today's lesson is preposition. Dear students, we learn a lot from illustrations or pictures. So for this lesson, I have collected as many illustrations as possible so that you can understand properly. So let's start. Come to the learning objectives first. Read the learning objectives with me. Can I identify prepositions in sentences? Can I choose appropriate prepositions to complete the sentences? So do you know what a preposition is? A preposition tells us where, a person, animal, place or thing is. In this way, preposition words or position words can connect a noun with a pronoun. Let's see. Let's read the sentence with me. Man is sitting on the horse. He is sitting on it. You can see that man is a noun, whereas on is a preposition. Horse is a noun. He and it are pronouns. So, prepositions have connected nouns with pronouns. Prepositions are also called position words. On, in, under and over are prepositions. In other words, they are position words. The book is on the table. Here you can see that on is a preposition and it is telling us the position of the book. The teddy is in the cupboard. So where is the teddy? Yes, it is in the cupboard. So you can see the arrow it is pointing towards the teddy, its position. The rabbit is un under the tree. Look at the rabbit, so innocent rabbit, it is sitting under the tree and the arrow is pointing the position. The cat is jumping over the chair. You can see that the cat is jumping over the chair. Now, come to this picture. What can you see in the picture? Prepositions are so useful that they will tell us the position of animal, place, thing. Let's see. There is a big tree. There is a cat on the tree. On is a preposition. There is a dog under the tree. Now identify the preposition in this sentence. Speak loudly. Yes, under is a preposition. Very good. There is a nest in the branches. So you can see that there is a nest in the branches. In a, is a preposition. The words on, under, in show the position of the noun. They are prepositions. A preposition is followed by a noun. There is a house behind the tree. So you can see that there is a house behind the tree. Behind is a preposition and it is telling us the position of the house. A girl is standing with her mother. You can see that the girl is standing with whom? With her mother. So, with is also a preposition. A boy is returning from school. From where the boy is returning? From school. So, from is a preposition. Look at the plane flying over the tree. Yes, over is a preposition again. The words behind, with, from, over are also prepositions. On, under, in, behind, with, over, from. Now get ready for an activity. Look at the pictures and write the correct prepositions. Now let's see how sharp your memory is. Be attentive dear students. The boy is sitting dash the chair. Now which preposition will come here you are going to tell me. Yes you are right. The boy is sitting on the chair. There is a ball dash the box. Where is the ball? Tell me quickly. I am waiting. 
Very good. There is a ball in the box. The cat is dash the chair. Can you see the cat where it is? Tell me quickly. Yes, you are right. The cat is under the chair. So, under is a preposition. The girl is hiding dash the curtain. Where is the girl hiding, dear students? Yes, the girl is hiding behind the curtain. So, uh, prepositions are helping us to locate the position of these people. The baby is playing dash a toy. The baby is playing with a toy. Very good. Now, come to the homework questions. Look at the pictures and choose correct prepositions to fill in the blanks. So, I have given you the prepositions in the box and you are going to choose from there which uh, preposition is the correct one which will suit in the blanks. Number 1. The children go dash school every morning. Number 2. The sun is shining brightly dash the sky. Number 3. The girls are sitting dash the fan. Number 4. The bag is lying dash the table. Number 5. Mother has come dash the market. Number 6. The postman is standing dash the gate. Number 7. The children are playing dash a ball. So this is all for today. Now you are going to do your homework very neatly. And your all answers should be correct. I'll check. Goodbye. See you tomorrow and have a nice day.